Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RGJ Runner and welcome to The Lunatic. A free indie horror which you can get on itch.io, link will be in the description. And speaking of the description, the description of this game is as follows. Justin Simmons wakes up on the floor in an old rehabilitation isolator room. He can't remember what happened or how he got there. All he knows is that he's currently being treated for the apparitions he's been seeing and Dr. Theodore Mason offered him a chance to be cured by undergoing a risky new treatment. In an unsettling and mysterious situation, Justin is determined to investigate what has happened to him and to do what he must to find answers. Alright, to get the gist. Scary shit is afoot. Now let's play. Where am I? What am I doing here? You know, that sounds exactly like the first line of the description that I just read out. Alright, uh, but yeah, so far, ooh, it's looking kind of fancy. And dreary. And kind of bloody and very dark and... Uh-oh. Creepy laughter, that's not a good sign. By the way, can I adjust the brightness? Oops. Right, it looks like one cannot adjust the brightness. Not that I'm a coward, but it's just... Looks a bit too dark, you know what I mean? Just in case there's any key items I may or may not need to pick up, I'll need to be able to see those unless they're highlighted. Okay, so what do we do? Can I... can I exit, please? How... Oh, okay. Wait, what's this glowy thing? Can I pick this up? Looks like a knife. It is a knife. Can, can I not pick it up? How does one pick up a knife? Will I need this to defend myself from the ghoulies that'll probably get my booty? No? Okay, fine. Oh! It's a... Uh, what appears to be a, an ominous cardboard cutout of a faceless little girl. Possibly the daughter of Slender, except with a little more meat on her bones. Wait, does she have a face? Daisy, Daisy was a pretty bad game. Okay, enough puns, but um, <laughs> that just looks weird. Yeah, all right, but this was made by a group of students on the Unity engine, so I. Don't really expect much from Unity Engine. Well, at least free trial. So, uh, what do we do here? Just invent. Oh, here's Daisy again! So, am I just supposed to follow her around the place until I eventually catch her? Or. Oh, hi. That was fast. Come back here, you little rascal. Oh, she's. Guiding me to my death, I think. You want me to unclog the toilets? Do you want me to find something for you? She's pointing to the toilet. I guess she needs something there. She needs the magical golden poop. Alright, looks like we're going Silent Hill 3 on this. Okay, time to roll up these sleeves and see what I can find. Oh, oh, golden shower. Ooh. Oh, somebody's got to fix the plumbing. Okay, what about here? Ah, this one's red. Uh, what's that blood? Wait, what the hell is this? It look a, a teddy bear? That's what it looks like, kind of. I think I can barely make it out. And she's gone. Wait, what the hell is this? Nine-year-old girl found dead in Tornage or Torrance Asylum. Can I uh, get a better look at this? Torrance Asylum mortuary worker Paul Andrews' daughter Dizzy was found dead this morning. Her body was found next to a toilet in the restroom basement. The police officer said someone was holding her head in the toilet and drowned her to death. The suspects were some kids living in Torrance Asylum. A nurse was trying to stop the kids, but it was too late. A six-year-old kid, Tom, said to the police, Jason, 
The ten-year-old kid caught Daisy's teddy bear and threw it in the toilet. Daisy fought back, but Jason pushed her and held her head to the toilet. She struggled and did not move anymore. The teddy bear Tom mentioned is missing. The case is under investigation. Ah, so it was a teddy bear I picked up. I just couldn't really make it out because of the uh, high contrast glow. So, what now? Okay, that was my cell, I think. No, wait, that was my cell. Was it? Oh, I don't know anymore. Can I exit through here? No. Oh, what about here? Oh, no, I need, I need a key. Oh. Wow, this is pretty creepy. Now, this apparition seems to be missing his arms. And I assume this was his Where physical body this? at one point. I think Daisy wants you to have it. You see her? You really see her? Where is she? Can you tell her I miss her so much? She loves you. She wants you to have this. She can rest in peace now. Thank you so much. Daisy, Daddy loves you. What can I do for you? Do you know the way out? The gate is locked by May. Only she can open it. But you know her. She's not that easy. She's in the second special ward. You need to get a key in there. I think there is a key in one of the freezers. You need to click the right code on the panel to open it. You can find the code in this room. Hurry! Oh, what's happening? Okay, I think I might have pissed off the head nurse. Okay, one thing I want to call into question. How did I know who Daisy was from the start? When I mean, you all saw that, uh, the second I saw the apparition, this guy, Justin, the character that I'm playing as, knew her name. That's, that's kind of odd. Even though he was supposed to be suffering from amnesia and not supposed to know how he got himself into this pickle dick Heh heh, <laughs> pickle dick. Pickle dick ha, ha, ha. My jokes are so bad. There's some missing data in this sheet. Maybe I should count them in this room. Alright, what is the missing data? Okay, name, Paul Andrew, institution, Torrance Asylum, age 48, nativity... Canadian, I think. Sex, male. Martial status, divorced. Number of children, one. Ages, nine, and dead. Allergens, penicillin. List of surgery tools and medications. Quantity. Okay. Basics. Operating knives. Uh, right, we're missing that. Scalpel, nine. Bisturi, five. Open ring, scissors, four. Operating scissors, four. Alcohol, 13 bottles. Hydrogen pro... What? Hydrogen Prosa? What? I can't read that one. That's blurred out. So... Yeah, that seems to be the missing information right there, I think. Approved an authorization for an operation for sterilization granted. The 13th of May, year 1953. Date, 15th of the 3rd, 1953. Signature, whatever the hell that is. I cannot read um, cursive writing. So, I need to find the, the number of knives... Uh, the number of operating scissors and the number of hydrogen peroxide bottles or whatever whatever that word is I think it's peroxide oh shit they fairly went to town on him right we got one two three four five six seven scalpels or operating knives two scissors and I assume these bottles here are the uh, hydrogen peroxide. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six. And seven and two. Seven, six. Wait, hold on. I want to get the order right. There's some missing. There's some missing data in this sheet. Maybe I should count them in this room. So I'm. <clears throat> so I'm assuming it's going in this order right here. Operating knives. Operating scissors and hydrogen peroxide bottles. So operating knives, there are seven of those. Operating scissors, 
verse 2 and 6 hydrogen peroxide bottles oh wait hold on I see something in the top right there 7 there's 7 so uh wait what yeah so it should be 7 2 7 Oh, no, 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 no. There's One, ten. Two, four, five. Oh, I done goofed. I don't know where I got ten. So, yeah, there's five here altogether. Then six. Then nine. So, it should be seven, two, nine. Seven, two, nine. See, I can't do the math. Or the maths. Wherever you are in the world, be you European or American. Okay, got my key. So I guess I gotta face off against some scary demon now, do I? Boop. Oh, you're not that scary. So what do I do? <laughs> um, uh, alright. Where'd you go? You playing hard to get? I think she has to stay in the dark. Oh, okay, so do I just do this? Oh, oh yeah. I have to turn on the light right. on there. And is there one in here? Tell me how I can get out of here. By using the exit. Which can only be opened by defeating a paranormal entity, or so it would seem. Where'd she go? Oh, there you are. Eat light. Is there another light in here? Um, I, I don't think so. What, I can stab her? Right, I don't. I, that was pretty anticlimactic, to say the least. And I don't know why the hell she stretched. Maybe that's how ghosts die. So can I go out through here now? No. Or is there another door? Oh, there's a uh, Daisy. She's guiding me to freedom! And what? This is the end of the demo. Thanks for playing. Ah. with indie games be they free on itch.io or be they on kickstarter i don't think there's going to be any more from it i it was just um a college project so i don't get the end or um i, I don't get this splash screen here this is the end of the demo thanks for playing now maybe i could be wrong maybe it will be a fully fledged indie game that might be about 10 or 15 minutes in length, possibly 20 minutes. Who knows at this day? So, guys, you know what to do. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, right share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. So, until next time. See ya.